So this is the field test for the Harvard WT1 single channel, no squelch. We got 20 milliwatts out of it. Don't know what it's sold as. Probably 100 milliwatts hand portable. Um, obviously, a little more than the kiddies' toy. They're good fun doing these. He's going to start off. Oh, it's channel 19. Of all stupid channels for a fixed channel radio to be on, it's on channel 19. I'm glad we're in the middle of nowhere. But we still get the Burner Brigade, don't we, from uh, Nottingham and Lincoln, so that does not help. So we'll switch to 19 when he's communicated from his car that he's in position. So we're not testing the Rotor 230, that's here as our test radio. We're testing the Harvard WT1, and he's got a body camera with him. So whether or not we edit these two together or whether we have to do it separately, I don't know because the formats are different. Tango 21, Mr Chippy, how are you doing? Yeah, it's coming up to uh, the quarry entrance, over. Roger, I'll switch to channel 19, shall I, over? Yeah, roger that, I'm now in position. 10 four. Tango 21 calling Mr. Chippy. Tango 21 calling Mr. Chippy on the Harvard WT1. Over. Yeah, I'm receiving you actually. You just talk very closely to it just for the test. would be receiving you if it wasn't channel 19. So if you'd like to move to the petrol station over. Yeah, I'm receiving you. Uh, move to the petrol station and do a test there over. Tango 21, Mr Chippy receiving. Tango 21 from Mr Chippy, are you receiving? Tango 21 from Mr Chippy, are you receiving? So, yeah, we got him. It's pretty lousy, but we got him. That's a mile and a half away. Tango 21, you there? Yeah, roger. Yeah, I was showing you. Um, I take it didn't hear me. I didn't hear you either. Please stop, please. Knock it up one. Roger. Okay, yes, I was receiving you, um, but of course with Channel 19 radio traffic, it was difficult to tell what you were saying. So you weren't hearing me, so that's interesting. Yeah, so we'll call that Ancaster Crossroads. Yep, yeah, fine, give it a go there. Yeah, we'll do that. That's interesting, because usually he can hear me and, and not him. So in this case, the receiver's, uh, well, it, it was doing about um, eight microvolts, did we say? Something like that. Roger, I'll knock you down to 19. Tango 21 calling Mr. Chippy. Do you copy me on the Harvard WT1 handle? Yeah, talk very closely to it, please. I'm receiving you, but uh, you're not receiving me, over. Tango 
Tango 21 for Mr. Chippy receiving. Tango 21 for Mr. Chippy receiving. You there? Yeah, Roger that. Did you hear me that time? No, nothing. Right, it's petrol station four court over. Uh, Roger that. So we heard him quite a reasonable signal at uh, that one mile point. Um, the thing is, he's, he's holding the radio at arm's length so the camera can see it, and clearly on that model, you've got to talk very, very closely. So, um, I can't get that across to him. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, in position, anchor to service station. Roger, I'll just change channel, thank you. So he's now half a mile away. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, do you receive me on the Harvard WT1 and portable over? Roger, I'm receiving you, do you receive me over? I don't think you're receiving me on this at half a mile either. Roger, top of the road. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, are you receiving? Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, receiving. Yeah, I thought I heard you right in the back of the box, but I'm not receiving you well at all. Tango 21? Yep, Roger, 20. Right, yes, I heard you again. I think you heard me a bit. Yeah, uh, not enough to uh, <laughs> tell what you were saying, but I think I just heard you. But uh, no, so I'll move on to uh, delay by on the line. Yep, Roger. Roger that. Hey, about that. Roger, changing channel. Tango 21 calling Mr. Chippy. Tango 21 calling Mr. Chippy. Do you copy me on the Harvard WT1 handheld over? Yeah, Roger that loud and clear now. Okay, Roger on that, return to base. Yep, roger that, loud and clear now. Okay, roger on that, return to base. Roger, return to base. Okay, so, yeah, quarter of a mile, and he's receiving me. Um, so, yes, it's, it's insensitive. Now, just imagine, so that's quarter of a mile, that's, you know, that's fair enough, isn't it? But just imagine if you've got kids and they've got a pair of them the same. So you've now put in the equation that they're both a load of rubbish. So it'll be little more than one bedroom to another. But uh, yeah, that works, uh, that works all right for a quarter of a mile, and that's 
what you expect on that kind of thing, to be honest. It, we were hearing him from a mile and a half away. Of course, if he'd have spoken closer, which didn't have spoiled his, uh, his body cam video, then we would have heard him better. But I know that the radio is doing proper deviation because I've checked it. And, and if you've seen the previous video, you saw that. So uh, I'm not worried about that. He uses the speaker as a microphone, which is never ideal. Uh, but that's how it is. So that is the Harvard WT1 hand portable and I think we were doing 20 milliwatts uh, well that's certainly what my test set uh, said it was and the receiver was only doing about 8 microvolts so there you are hope that was of interest to people who are avid collectors of vintage CB radios for UK